And we're live. My name's Justin. Welcome to the channel, Fast Entrepreneur. Let's get into it. I'm not a financial advisor, not financial advice, do your own research. Here we go. Guys, I wanna shoot this video about TrueBit Protocol. If you've been following my channel, I wanna say thank you. I am sweating like a monster right now. I was just outside for a walk, um, but it was good, you know? Anyways, let's talk about the real monster in the room, and that is TrueBit Protocol. I've already made a few videos on it. Thanks to all the folks supporting the channel. Uh, a couple of those videos I think are now, uh, we're getting close to a thousand views, so that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you. But what's this video about? I'll, I had somebody comment and ask about TrueBit uh, tokenomics. So I'll kind of do my little, uh, you know, quick rundown as I see it. And obviously uh, if we learn more, you know, we can always update. But here's what I'm seeing and some of the takeaways. So TrueBit protocol, what is it? It is similar to a layer two scaling solution like a Matic, right, Polygon, uh, or Plasma, but it's also not just a competitor. Uh, it can actually work with and be incorporated uh, into those other layer two uh, solutions as well. So even if, what I understand, even if uh, Ethereum comes out with ETH 2.0 to help make the Ethereum blockchain better, faster, cheaper, and all that, there's still a role long-term uh, for TrueBit protocol. TrueBit is highly, highly uh, tied to the Ethereum blockchain. And, I, and now let's get into tokenomics and why I say that. So the way that the uh, TrueBit protocol price works, it's not necessarily uh, what you might think that as market cap increases that price will just always go you know linear one for one and increase with it vice versa there's actually um, the true bit tokenomics it seems will have a burn and minting function so when the true so let's talk about burn when the true bit uh, token is being used say as it's incorporated say into polygon or or Tron or whatever, some of these blockchains that do large throughput, the TrueBit protocol will be used and when it's used, it'll be burned, right? So that's supply and demand, it'll take supply out. In the short term, when that's happening, we could probably see some price uh, appreciation in TrueBit. Also, it looks like the TrueBit price is tied to the F price. So if Ethereum is rising or Ethereum is falling, uh, that can also have a direct impact, say, when you're looking at the TrueBit uh, price, at least for USDT. And what I want to talk about is then, so what is this minting function? So from what I understand is that the founders, uh, the devs, uh, and, I, and I have to look into this but more, but I don't know if they have a specific stake uh, for token, but I think that they're going to be getting uh, paid by this minting.